Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with my next nail of the day and this is the design that I created and I just did the exact same thing on my left hand um, just because just because I wasn't creative enough to switch it up and um, <clears throat> I've been dying to use this um, lion design since I got since I saw the plates or at least since I got the plates so um, that's kind of around the reason why I chose the colors that I did so um, I figured this um, tannish orangey brownish color would be what I would figure is the closest color to what a lion would be so that's why I chose that then I chose the green because I really wanted that this color the lighter color to stand out and um okay so the items that you're going to need to do your stamping are first you're going to need your stampers whichever one works best for you um your scraper which I am just using a store card or gift card um, your image plate and then your polish that you're going to stamp with I'm using Conat special polish pure acetone for cleaning off your image plate as well as cleaning off the um, the actual stamper and then um, what I do is put my acetone on a cotton ball and then um, I use this pink tool called a cotton claw. But what the one thing that I have discovered with the Infinity and Moyu plates, um, they are rougher cut than the Dashika Beauty Shop image plates. So when using a cotton ball, it leaves behind a ton of hairs. And I end up having to take my finger in between cleaning and wipe off, remove the hair. So what I have actually discovered is that these um, cosmetic wedges um, work great for cleaning up the image plates that are a little bit rougher. Unfortunately, the cosmetic sponges um, for some reason, when they don't stay in the um, in the cotton claw very well, so what I end up doing is just pressing and pressing down, holding onto the wedge to keep it in to in the claw while I'm using it, and then and then just clean my plate that way. Um, so that's what you'll need. So I will get started with the stamping. And so, I've, as always, I start out with my base coat, which is Rejuva Coat by Dory. And then for the base colors, um, the main base color I'm using is this color by Barriel. I've never used Barriel before. I only have a few of these polishes. This polish is called Aurora, Aura, I'm sorry, Aura Angora. there we go and then the next base color I am using is by wet n wild from the Megalas collection and this one is called poison ivy and then as always before I do my stamping I always apply my top coat which is the Dory mirror coat and then for my stamping colors I also use the Barriel to stamp over the over Poison Ivy, which it stamps really nicely. And then over um, Aura Angora, I'd use this, um, I forget what this one, this green is called. I think this is Moss, we have Moss Green by Conad. It is their special polish. And I stamped that on my pinky nail. And then over Aura Angora for the Lion, I just used the, this one is called Chocolate Brown. This is another Conad Special Polish. This is the Princess size, and the other one is just a regular bottle. And then I use always my um, IBD UV Top Coat Cure for three minutes under my UV lamp. And then I also... Um, 
did something a little bit different. I added an extra top coat. And this one, um, what I wanted to try and see is how well of a wear I would get by just applying my Kiss um, gel top coat. And so um, this is from the little kit. You can get this at Walgreens. Well, I don't know. I've seen these on clearance as if especially the polishes as if it's going to be like no longer available I don't know if they're coming out with new colors or what but these have been on clearance for quite a while so um this is just the top coat or top gel I didn't apply the base gel or anything like that or any gel polishes so I just applied this over everything and cured it under my kiss LED lamp for 30 seconds and um and yeah it's pretty shiny um, some of them feel still a little like tackiness um, not tackiness kind of but not as smooth or whatever but it is still really shiny I don't know if maybe I did not apply put enough even enough coat or if I should have let my base um, the other nail polishes dry waited a little bit longer after I cured it under with the IBD UV top coat. I should have probably tried it without the IBD top coat, but so far so good. I mean, it feels how it normally would. It is nice and hard and dry. So um, we'll see if, cause generally when I do my nails on Thursdays, I, um, I always wait until Monday to take it off and by Monday, it generally has quite a few chips, especially on my thumbs, and it has a, some tip wear at least. So we will see how well this stands up over um, over the regular polish. And then the next time when I do this, I'm going to do the UV, the LED gel polish without applying the IBD because um, it could have just been too thick of a layer. I don't know. Um, and especially after putting it under the lamp, I probably should have waited several minutes to let it kind of really cool down and be completely dry before doing it. But the one thing I did notice, unlike the Sally Hansen um, LED pol gel polish, is that when I put it over um, some regular polishes and base coats, like just my base coat, it did, it would bubble, like it get, like it would literally bubble up and have like weird bubbles in it, like it was going to just come right off. And that, and that happened like immediately. With this, I've applied this over just regular uh, base coat before, but I used the base gel and the top gel when I had the break on my thumb, the split on my thumb and on my index finger. So, um, and it worked fine. So I didn't see why it wouldn't work over regular polish. And um, the other thing is just there are a lot more coats than over just the my Dory base coat and then applying the Kiss base gel and top gel. Um, and then I generally apply my all my other polishes over top of the Kiss gel base and top coat just so that it was um, to strengthen my nail and I had no problems and it removed really easily. I just put it in my um, in my Sally Hansen quick off and removed it and it took just slight a few minutes longer than removing my regular polish so um, yeah so that is my design very pleased I was kind of going for like the lion in the jungle look I don't know if this looks more like alligator skin or what but like just a jungle type or out in the wild type theme for this manicure. So let me know what you what you think of the this design, um, and maybe post some pictures of how you would recreate maybe like a jungle or out in the wild or safari whatever <laughs> type of theme. So yes, and let me know. Have you ever used the Kiss gel polishes? Have you tried them over top of regular nail polish? If did you have any success? success or did it did you have any issues um i really like the kiss gel polish i actually like it better than the sally hansen gel polish kit um so yeah let me know what you think what gel polishes have you tried 
Um, and I found out, because I contacted China Glaze on Facebook, a second time to ask when would it be available, the Gel Aze polish be available in Ohio. Apparently, according to them, they stated that it should be available in my area in March, at my Sally's in March. So, I am eerily awaiting. So, that is it. I've rambled long enough. Thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. And have a great day. Bye.